We got it. <laughs> Thank you all so much. I, I definitely needed a little little guidance there. Thanks, fam. I always sit in that chair and play with my porgan. Are we talking about the same thing, Bematic? There's something very inherently sus about the way that was typed out. <laughs> You gotta be careful when you're playing with your porgan, though. Can't play with it too much. <laughs> Them porgans be finicky. This game is a maze, enough said. I know, there's a lot of times where I've gotten kind of just turned around because I feel like in an, a certain area, a lot of things look exactly the same. Yeah, a lot of pathways and stuff, so I feel that. It's really sometimes tough to remember where you've been and where you haven't been. Time lapse sounds cool. Yeah. Yeah, well, the, the Halloween one is actually on my YouTube right now. So I got, um, I made a tit, like a, a short with my scarecrow makeup that I did. And then I did the time lapse of the Halloween devil makeup, which was really tedious to edit, but it was so fun to make. So I'm looking forward to doing the next one too. It's going to be fun. Rosa Ooh, hello. Isabel Street, You're a boulevard? Entertainment district. <laughs> You know what, Gem? I was a boulevard to that boss. I'll 100% take it. <laughs> street concerts all running 24-7. Adelina Corday, the singer in the red dress. Oh, she was the Ooh. most famous of them all. The legendary prima donna. Mm, well, I'm not sure. Oh, sorry. Oh, I didn't want to cut him off. Now I feel bad. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Jiminy. Oh. The Witch's Tower and Princess. The final performance by Adelina, the greatest prima donna. What was that last part? Experience their passionate stories. Aw. Aw, tell me we get to see them in this game. Like, tell me we actually get to see it. That'd be really cool. Like, the most elegant fight ever. Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah, dork. Just a little... I'm certified. Thank you very much. I'm a certified dork. Don't you forget it. Oh, rude. I utilized so many different abilities because I had to make up for my lack of stats. That's fair. I just think it gives you, like this game gives you a lot to choose from with how you want to play, not just with like your regular weapons and stuff, but all of the abilities that you have. You know, like I said, the way you build your character and specialize their P organ and all that, like, like it's really cool. Like, there's more to it than just, you know, switching your weapon or specking into a different primary stat. So I really like that about it. Fable Catalyst. Battleist. Whoa! I don't know why he scared me. Take that candelabra and put it somewhere. Oh, who are you? Ah, oh, my stalker friend. I was worried the puppets had come back. It, I guess this is the same that lady from the beginning of the game, is it? Moment's peace, even an elderly lady like me. The one that I we uh, gave the baby to? Rest if they had the petrification disease. Drives a lady to drink, it does. I, which reminds me, I could use a proper tipple. A there's tipple? A, there's a wine called La Yo, Blumie. I can use a tipple too. When I was younger, they called it the ruby of the heavens. I'm sure there's still some left in the wine cellar at Lorenzini Arcade. You're an enterprising lad. Okay, so you want wine. I don't blame you. Aw, oh, look at that poster. That's cute. The Witch's Tower and Princess, the comedy praised by audience and critics alike. The Estella Opera House will be presenting its grand finale. It's the last work of the best writer of Krat, Cop Copelius Kremp Krempelin? Maybe? 
as well as the last performance of Red Actress Adelina Corday, the greatest prima donna of our time. The greatest adventure of an evil witch, a gallant knight, and a beautiful princess awaits you. Come join an unforgettable experience of laughter, tears, and thrills. See, they are really kind of harping on this show of sorts. And I don't know, I feel like by the time we get to like the end of this area, we're gonna like see it in person. Oh, that's a dead end. Was this a dead end too? I think so. And then we just dropped down to where we came from, I think. Whoa! Theater Gaspard? I heard someone singing. I guess this is the way? See, exactly like Atreya was saying, this place is like a maze. It's like everywhere looks the same. Thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. Welcome on in. I guess when in doubt, go towards the burning flames. That kind of goes against my instinct, but you know what? We'll go for it this time. Ooh. Scared me. I don't know why. Like, they all scare me. It's so stupid. <laughs> Maybe I'm just really jumpy. Oh. Yeah, of course. Jeez, how do we get to the other side of that, though? That's gotta be something that I open up, like, much later. Maybe, like, once we're maybe behind this gate somehow? I don't think there's gonna be a path over here. I'm pretty sure I checked everywhere I could already. Otherwise, we gotta go down that other pathway. The burning flames? Yeah. Gotta go right towards the fire. I know Gemini wouldn't have any trouble with that. Artist Doodle. Puppets are the most beautiful of beings. Even their human masters are incomplete beings in comparison. Creation's more perfect than their creator. The creator who created them. Which would you praise more? Wow, what a question. I mean, I don't know. Like, when you really think about it? I mean, the creator deserves praise for creating such beautiful beings, but... Like, in a way, they're all their own unique beings as well and deserve to be celebrated, so that, that's a very deep question. Whoa. Oh, that one definitely has more of like a theater. Like, look at the look at the hat, like the gesture hat. That's so cool. That's not. All right. Note to self, they explode. Holy, there's a lot of lore that I'm getting right now. The alchemist paved the way for Krod's golden age, and no one denies that fact. But what if instead of gold, they were to cause an unprecedented disaster? Being a reporter, I received a surprising message from an informant who was once an alchemist himself. It's about a stranger from across the ocean, an alchemist from the far east who was once famous in Krod. He learned of the group's secrets and quit, and he now uses a different identity out of fear for his safety. The relic of... The relic of Trismegest Trismegestus? Trismegestus is not just a simple ergo mine. That place is dangerous. My source claim the alchemists have an ulterior motive, one not for the benefit of the city, and that they have a very risky plan involving ergo. The conspiracy theory about how hundreds of people can die sounded preposterous, but the evidence provided had a surprising amount of credibility. 
So as a reporter, I spent months with the informer and was able to see the dark side of Krat. I intend to deliver my report for the benefit of the citizens. The rest is severely damaged. Okay. Publication of this text was banned for spreading false info and promoting social unrest. Okay. Additionally, reporter Maduro has been suspended indefinitely from our newspaper. We apologize to the citizens for any trouble. Oh my god, that's censorship though. That's censorship. No freedom of speech. What? Why? I almost wonder if you can talk to it. Ah! I know! Its head turned around! Its head turned around! Fucking kill it! Jesus! Get those things at it! No! Oh, there's another one! Yeah, exactly, Ven. Oh, why are, What are they multiplying? What's going on? <laughs> Where'd they all come from? Fuck that. No way. Like, just the way it was sitting, too, was so creepy looking. Here, let's let our stamina come back. Kill it with fire, right? There's a lot of throwables you can use in this Nyx, but I really don't use them much. I probably should. I just don't. I'm all about the pokey pokes and the stabby stabs. But absolutely not. They're, they're like, not even full bodies. They're just torsos. That's really, like, look at that thing. That's creepy as hell. Like, absolutely not. Wow. Th this living, like, house? Oh, here we go. That's what we connect to. It's bigger than I thought. More fire clearly needed, right? Like, y'all gotta give me some fire and chat or something. I need all of it. Or a saw blade, you know, that might do the trick too. I'm good with that. Oh, Fen! Hi, Fen. Thank you. See, that's exactly what I needed. Fen sees. Fen knows what's up. Thank you so much, Fen. It's so good to see you. I took out the Black Brotherhood, Fen! Oh my god, what a fight. Actually, let me go outside and see what's going on out here first before we go back. Yo, honestly, such a tough fight, but I think one of my favorites so far, and, and having being done with the fight, I could see why other people said the same. That it's just a fight they genuinely ended up loving. Even though it was so hard at the time, I could see why. It was just really, really fun. Like chaotic, but fun. All right, I guess that's how we go forward, but there's- I feel like there's still more I wanted to see in here, isn't there? Before I just head off. You all know me. I get that FOMO. I don't want to miss anything. I want to get all the shinies. Everything I could find. And even just to get the lore, too. Oh, see? Shortcut! Nice. Nice. That's pretty nice, just to have. Usually this gives me, like, an outfit of some kind, I think. Oh, no. Just gave me a plug. That's fine. <laughs> yes, I can use it to craft an arm. Jeez, that's not what I was ready for, but it, that's okay, I guess. I won't complain. Yeah, and the stargazer's a little bit back that way. But okay, so we kind of just opened a shortcut. I think we're good to just go on then. Just go forward. I just want to see what's over here first. Oh, another shortcut. Look at that. <laughs> wow, shortcuts for days? Ahoy, what's up, Lunar? Hi, how you doing? So good to see you. Thank you for stopping on in. How has the start of your week been treating you so far, my dude? Ooh, I heard that piano. Oh, look at this dapper gentleman. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, why are there so many of you? Eep. Oh, Jesus, who did that? Oh, I didn't even see you there. You're so quiet. Just minding your own business? That This guy is me at a party, okay? I'm a pretty... I can be an introverted person. I'm usually just kind of, you know, in the corner, like off to the side, just kind of minding my own business. Until, like, one of my extroverted friends comes and pulls me into the action. <laughs> oh, I ran out of string. Yeah, come over this way. I have to pick up the doggo from the groomers? Oh! Doggo getting pampered? That's really cute. Nice. It's all good, Nick. We'll see you soon, lovely. You take your time, do your thing. I can't believe I used all my heals on this spot over here, though. It's fine. I don't know if that gate opens from this side. It might not. Not the baby puppets. That's legit. I don't know if that's what they are, but that's what it looks like. It was really sad. Like, they weren't complete yet, you know? Like, they didn't even have a chance at life. Life. <gasps> Dancers, curved sword, blade, and handle? Um, excuse me? That just screams Dark Souls 3 to me. I can't help it. <laughs> Oh, it's a grapes. Oh, it's probably huge then. Motivity and technique. I just want to see it. I don't recall how to switch your, um, I don't recall how to switch your weapon because I really don't ever do that. Oh, there you go. Never mind. That was easy. Oh, that's so cool. I love, like, the engraving and stuff on it, too. Like, the details, though. Oh, that's cool. It might just be a little too slow for my playstyle, though. Because I, like I like to be super fast. You know? But that's really cool. Is it the weapon the fox uses? You know, I'm not sure. It could be, though. Because I remember we kind of had her and I forget the other one, that, but they were both kind of helping us out for a little bit there before they ended up just going and doing their thing. And I remember saying that having her weapon would be really cool. Okay. Can't go there. So that's kind of a bust, I guess. Well, there's got to be another way then. Ah, here we go. Oh, I don't have any weapon. There we go. Just Im I imagine this thing just coming to life as soon as I try and poke it. <laughs> Those things are creepy. It was difficult, but it was difficult, but a really good fight. Oh my god, yes. It was really good. Jeez, why are these things just, like, everywhere? Oh, is this where that singer's supposed to be? The prima donna? Yeah, the fight was hard. Like, when I first found it, Fen, I was kind of like... I was wondering how in the world we're supposed to handle all that chaos at once, but... Like, once I really got into it, it started to make sense, but it's, it's just a lot to think of. Like, there's so much going on all at once. You have to really split your attention multiple ways. I think that was the cool part about it, but it, w it also just made it really, really tough, you know? But I'm glad that you're doing well, though, Fen. It is good to see you. I don't know how many fights I have left after this, to be quite honest. Probably doesn't open. Aw. 
Jeez, I have no heals, which doesn't help. I don't really like the, the way it's, like, impaled there, but it looks cute. Oh, what a beautiful puppet you are. I can hear your springs, even if you try to hide them. Oh, damn. Musicians have keen ears, you know. I guess I'm not lying to her. Would you like to sing for me like your friends? I have a feeling the sound of your cries will be especially sweet. Let's have an encore <gasps> performance of pain for the red yeah? actress, Adelina Cordae. Oh my god, let's go! Do I actually get to see them? <gasps> to my oh! Oh, I so called it! I almost have my heal back though, which is nice. Can I? Oh, I keep forgetting I got no string. Okay, we good, we good. I'm assuming I can get a backstab here as well. If I can actually get behind them properly. Ooh, that was a good counter. Ah. Yeah, tough when I have no heals, eh? Prima Donna was cool and everything, but I think things got better once the Madonna showed up. Oh, right? Papa Toast. Like, I was so excited because they, they keep talking, they keep hyping up this Prima Donna. So it's like, we're going to see her eventually. Like, I know we will. I don't know if, I, I'm assuming the, it, the white lady is that person. That's kind of what the puppet statue said. Oh, man. All right, hold on. I could see why that shortcut was a lifesaver. There are a lot of enemies on the way back. But it's true, I like the fight. I do love the music, King. I was thinking that too. I kind of like, it, it's interesting because it's like you get into the fight. Hold on, I don't think I have to go down. Oh no! All right, I'm gonna have to take you guys out. It's just interesting how, like, you kind of get into the fight, but, like, nothing changes. Like, the environment doesn't make you feel like you're about to get into a fight. And all of a sudden, like, the boss or mini boss or whoever just kind of shows up and then you're just in the fight. Like, it's it's just, a, like, a smooth transition, which I think is really cool. Oop. I remember you. Oh! Why do you have to charge at me like that? No! Oh, God. That's so... I think that's the scariest enemy I've seen so far. What chapter are you on? I'm not going to lie. I really have no clue. I think I'll, during the playthrough, people have kind of been telling me what chapter I'm on. But I'm not going to lie to you. I really don't know. <laughs> I'd have to actually stop and look. You think it's chapter six? Thank you so much. I don't know how many chapters are in the game like as a whole though. Because Pop, um, what is it? Um, Papa G, as I like to call him, he mentioned the King of Puppets who I, I think is the final boss. Like he mentioned going down the street and getting to the lair like of the King. So I really don't know. Like if we're actually quite close to the end or if we still have a bit more to go. Jadens! Hi, Jadens! How you doing? It's good to see you. This is my first playthrough. And I'm going to be pretty much focusing on this game during this week, but I'm going to focus on it until I'm done with it, basically. So I don't know how many more streams I'll have left. Depends on how much I struggle and how much good I need to be getting, you know what I mean? I'm on my third run. On my last boss of my third run, and I love it, but it's brutal for my play style and perfect for yours. Hmm. What do you mean by that? Like, what what is your play style, really? Let's have an I'm curious why you would say that. 
Because I'm not a big fan. Like, I'm not going to say I'm not a big fan. I don't prefer to parry in games like this. If I can utilize iframes, I will, like, every time. But this game obviously forces me to do something different than I would like, you know? Of course, right as I was going to go up for an attack, <laughs> she does that. I almost feel like... You stole my sister from me. Jesus! This fight almost feels like a, like a fencing match, though. Because we're both using, like, such similar weapons. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just like the feel of it. Like, we have our clash, and then we back off, we reassess, and then we clash again. You know? Oh, I couldn't get the backstab on her. Damn. Oh, we got it! You beat the Brotherhood? Oh, Wakey, thank you for the GG! Oh shit, hello! Thank you so much, my dude. Yeah, I beat him. Legit, all I needed to do, it turns out all I needed to do was just upgrade my weapon a bit. I was able to upgrade it once, and I don't know why. I don't really know that that damage made that big of a difference, but as soon as I upgraded it, I, I just steamrolled them. Like, it was awesome. <laughs> It felt amazing. Thank you so much, though. You're saying I'm about halfway through? Oh my gosh, if I... I mean, if I could just keep doing that, that's a little unfair to her. I just legit danced circles around her. Like, what was that even? <laughs> Amazing. I think we got the mask as well. I want to see the mask. Like, I don't care about anything else. I want to see the mask. <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. I love this fight. The fencing duel is fun. That was really fun. That was really fun. I mean, just being able to get behind her and to, like... I like being really close to bosses for reasons like that, because sometimes it lets you get, like, the cheekiest little dodge, you know, or the cheekiest position so that I can just, like, take advantage and keep doing that. <laughs> like, legit just face stomped her. Thick gal! What's up, Thick? Hi! How you doing? Welcome on in. You were wearing red face paint? That might have been on Halloween, yeah. Yeah, I was doing um, my face paint stuff, and then I think I got into Alien Isolation after. But it's good to see you again. Welcome on back. How you doing? Pigeon mask worn by the white lady. The bird lost her voice, but dreamed of the blue skies instead. That day was a tragic accident for all sisters. The girl who lost her golden voice became a stalker instead of an opera singer. Oh, that's really cool. I'm trying to think, do I have an outfit that would go a bit better? Not really. <gasps> Ooh, I kind of like the black and white look, though. That's even not bad. But I really, that's so, like, elegant looking. Ooh, I'm, I think I'm going to wear this mask for the rest of the game. Just saying. That's so pretty. Hmm, I don't know how to get this, though, because this doesn't open from this side. There's a ladder? It's like we gotta go down somewhere to get up there. The same with that fenced-in area. I couldn't get in there either. I wonder if it's, um... I don't know. I'm just gonna go forward for now. 
um, it's too hard to learn perfect parry on all the mobs since they ha all have delayed attacks and there's no poise. Oh, for sure. No, when it comes to like the mobs, I don't really worry about the parry so much either. For regular enemies, no. I just don't care enough to. Oh, can't go there either. Not yet anyway. I feel you. I usually just end up doing the, the stabs and dodges or just kind of run past some of them if I just don't feel like dealing with them. Ooh. But I know what you mean. When it comes to the bosses, learning the parries is like immensely satisfying for sure. Umbrella combat. Vito, how are you, Vito? What's up? This weapon is really cool. Like at first glance, it looks a little silly, but it's actually really, really fun. Rose Estate incident left as a mystery. The city of Krat decided to put an indefinite stop to the investigation on the disaster that took place in the Monad Charity House known as the Rose Estate. I think that's, isn't that where we were earlier, the Charity House, where they were talking about a lot of the wine? I think that's when we first learned about like this area. This was to prevent chaos caused by the large scale spreading of the petrification disease. There have been no confirmed survivors so far. The disease is a deadly epidemic, but this massive spread is unprecedented. The quarantine authorities surmise that the disease caused the novel mutation. The Monad Charity House, once a boarding school for kids from the slums, has until recently been home to the founding Monad family, many students and refugees. The leader of the alchemists, Valentinus Monad, has been confirmed to have passed during this catastrophe, and this will take a toll on the alchemists. Hmm. Thanks. Been busy with the kids as always. Hopefully the good kind of busy. I hope you had a really nice weekend with the fam, though. I hope you were able to get out and do something nice and enjoy your time together. Backstabs for the win. I know, eh? Good cheese? Listen. Listen, I honestly think I'm just taking advantage of what the game gives me to use. Just saying. Just saying. I think Hool, Hool popped in earlier and I think she said that you were playing more Dead Space today, I think. She said seeing you, she said and I quote, seeing your heart rate spike up made her feel more calm. <laughs> I hope you had a fun time though. It's good to see you, my dude. Old Greg, good evening. How's it going, Greg? What's up? I hope you're doing well, welcome on in. Oh, what am I doing? I gotta go talk to the guy. I might as well give him the ring. I forgot about it. Hold on. Take out these creepy crawlies. Monday's good. I'ma contact you. Yes. I'm not gonna say anything, but some of the things we were talking about in your stream last night definitely hit me up, man. Definitely hit me up. Like, I'm just, I'm just smiling just thinking about it because it would be really, really cool. Stressful but done. You're all done? Nice. Did you get the plat too? I mean, I'm assuming you did. You're like the plat hunter. Oh, my but it must feel good to have it all done. That's awesome. This is... Our marriage should have been filled with joy. I failed you, Melody. I'm sorry. I should have mentioned she's a puppet. Aww. But she was real to me. JT, why would you say this story's not her. sad anymore? Others laughed at me, but I knew the truth. I knew that she was in love with me too. I mean, unless this guy is just kind of crazy. Maybe I'm crazy, though. Whoever heard of a human and a puppet and love? Okay, listen. <laughs> oh, shit. What's the wrong cho- I don't know what the wrong choice is. is. That so? That's what everyone I really says. don't know. I don't know what to think anymore. It's all I right. guess I saw if the message. Dream, Listen, that guy said it. Well, I said it first, one. but at least we were on the same page. However, <laughs> I think it's finally time to wake up. Jeez, I don't I like don't those really fast decisions, though. Anymore. Thank you for bringing me her Thank belongings. you so much for the follow. Welcome on well, in. I appreciate it. You a reward. Feel free to enjoy Lurky Lurkin. If you do want to come chat and say hi, feel free to come say hi. Never any pressure here, though. That's for sure. All right, so we got to turn that in. Be safe on the trip and take lots of pictures? Yeah, hell yeah. Definitely take pictures. How often do you get to go out, you know, where you went? I don't want to dox you, but I'm pretty sure you already said where. 
But still, I'm, I'm always just super cautious about that kind of thing. Coming home on Friday morning. Oh, that's good. Okay, so you're, you're away for a few days. It gets you away from the norm. You get to kind of switch your scene around. I like that. Gotta go run some errands. Not sure if you'll be on when I'm back, but happy I got to watch you play. JT, it was so awesome having you here. And you gave me some pretty pro tips as well today. So I really appreciate the guidance and the help as well. Have an amazing rest of your night. I'm just trying to think what time it is. I do have a, a thing. I have an appointment tonight, so I have to make sure I don't lose track of time. <laughs> but I appreciate you, JT. We will catch you soon, I'm sure. You opened the shortcut and then went the long way? Listen. <laughs> don't call me out on my shit, okay? But yeah, you're a hundred percent right. I didn't I didn't take the shortcut at all. <laughs> I'm just so it's so ingrained to go this way that I just I wasn't even thinking while doing it, you know what I mean? It was more just my muscle memory taking over, and that's kind of where I went. <laughs> um, I know we went up those stairs and stuff, but I didn't really look back here. <laughs> I'm going offline. Hey, no worries, dude. Have a good sleep, cool dude. We will catch you soon. Please get all the good rest. Nice. That was. Okay, nice. Now I don't have to worry about that anymore, do I? <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, back up the stairs. It could be really confusing. Yeah, a lot of levels are a lot of pathways. Like everything looks exactly the same. You know what I mean? And sometimes like when you come back to the game after a minute, you don't remember which ways you went and which ways you didn't. Oh shit, no, not these, no. God, I hate those things so much. They're terrible. I don't think I'm too heavy, but the way I was rolling didn't really look right. Hold on. No, it doesn't say I'm heavy. Oh, that's weird. I don't know. I just, I did a roll and I, I don't know. It just didn't, it looked weird to me. Anyway, we're good. We Gucci fam. Does it have a mid fat roll? I don't know. Because there's, when it doesn't say anything, like, you should be fine. When it start, when you start to get a little too heavy, it'll say slightly heavy. And that's when you know, you know, that you gotta start hitting the gym back up and lose that little bit of weight, you know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck, come on. Nonsense. But yeah, we should be okay with where we're at, though. Mama Wiz, I hope you had a really nice weekend, though. It's really nice to see you, lady. Mama Wiz! <laughs> hey, what's up, Lev? It's good to see you, my dude. How have you been? Give me- Oh, fuck. I always forget these ones are bad. God, I hate them so much. Leth, how are things? Give me the scoop. What's new in the zoo? Damn. I'm doing all right over here. Made some great progress today. So I'm just kind of trying to make my way to the next area and hopefully the next boss. I would very much like to see what the next boss is before I end stream today, but I don't know if I'm going to get there in time. But we'll see, though. But I'm loving Lies of P. I've been loving Lords of the Fallen as well. I think I'm going to be taking some time to pretty exclusively just focus on this until, um, until it's done. Just because I think switching between the two games, it's, it's a lot. And I feel like when the, when the new week starts and I come back to one of the two games, I'm always like really rusty because the mechanics are a little different, so. Just rolling on that ragdoll like it's no big deal. I don't know which way is the right way. 
It's getting late here in good old Sweden, so I'm heading to bed. Hey, no worries, thick girl. Have a good night. Or thick gal. Sorry, thick gal. <laughs> I appreciate you popping in, though. It was good to see you. I hope we catch you again soon. Time differences be cray cray. For me, it's only 4.30 in the afternoon, so it's a, the day is still young. Okay, I remember the creepy baby. We opened that. We got the, the equipment, so... I guess down here is the way to go. We gotta go by this guy. Yeah, the Mother Fairy store. That's my store. He's trying to tarnish all of my hard work. Like a joik. Okay, pushing him into the flame should do something, though. That would be really cool. Go in the house? Oh, I already did. If you mean the one, like, up there. I already... Whoa, hello. Excuse you. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I did already. Unless you mean unless you mean the one back here. Yeah, this one? Yeah, there's nothing else to do except get that, so I think I'm okay up there. It's 1.30 p.m. for me now. The jet lag is real. And I felt that when I went to Vegas too. Because it was such a long day already, like, before that. I was at the Montreal airport for, like, a five-hour layover beforehand. So by the time I got to Vegas and, like, I landed, like, it, I think it was only, like, 8 o'clock at night Vegas time. But, God, it felt so late, you know? I was so tired. And that's my first time, like, flying out west like that. So I, I had never really experienced jet lag like that before. Ooh. See, now I kind of wish I had the, uh, the string on. Eh. Oh, that was close. Let's go. It was very chill. My favorite kind of weekend. Aw. That's my favorite kind of weekend, too. Oh, hello. Oh my god, what? Okay. What's up, buddy? Whoa! <laughs> um, alright then. Boop. Wow, that actually did quite a bit to the big guy, too. I wasn't ready for that. Oh, shit. That's totally... I meant to heal. <laughs> Weird. Oh, what? Maybe it's because I was so close to him? Jeez, I'm not doing any damage to this guy at all. I think you said you were going to be streaming on the go while you were away, though. Do you plan to stream tonight? I know the time difference is going to make it a little funky, 